This is my house. Two years ago, Neil Slough thought he bought his dream home. I thought, you know, right across the street from St. Teresa's and Montessori School. Then he found out about the two above ground power lines set to be built right near his home. Now Neil has buyer's remorse. If anybody who voted for any of this would like to buy the house for what I paid for it because they think I'm overreacting, I'll draw up the papers this week. What's the negative impact on the values of losing property value of homes, decreasing in value, closing schools? Um, they didn't take that into consideration. Alderman Michael Murphy represents the western edge of where Milwaukee meets Wauwatosa and says there was a consensus between both cities and the residents affected to have the power lines built underground. It's a reasonable compromise and they ignored it. In a statement, the Public Service Commission of Wisconsin said it favored above ground power lines to protect ratepayers from undue costs of undergrounding. It said putting the lines underground would cost 35 to 50 million dollars more compared to a total cost of nearly 12 million dollars for no undergrounding at all. I guess I'm just one of the taxpayers that doesn't get the benefit. Neil will try to make the most of his investment, but he fears its value will plummet.